we will see how to find a string length using inspect statement now this is one of the common uh, intro question and also it's used in couple of programs in the real time programs as well uh, there is a requirements okay one of the common reason for finding a string length is because of the column varchar column in the db2 table so if you want to insert any data into a varchar column through your cobol program along with the data for the column you need to also pass the length of the string that's what the one of the use of finding the string length and other might be reasons there are multiple reasons to find the string length so we will can find the string length by using occur class and also by using the inspect statement in today's example we will see how to find the string length by using inspect statement maybe i can upload another video which says how to find the string length using occur class so let's start and again before i start i would really thank for all my subscribers and all the views and all the likes and all the comments that you have done so this video is because of that reason that there are a lot of people who are following my channel and a lot of people are waiting for the videos but again these videos are only for the people who already have knowledge on mainframe who might be looking for a job who might be doing some job who might be just refreshing their mainframe concepts if you are new then <clears throat> these videos are not for you you should take mainframe training then you will understand these all videos these are all random videos only for people who know mainframe with that said let's start so i have i have my mainframe already connected this is my training mainframe i have been using this mainframe for last 10 years so 3.4 i have my data set just created just a couple of minutes i created back this is the one which i'll be using to write the program and the jsl and this is the place where i will store my load so edit <coughs> so inspect one so first we will write the program here id division program id inspect one so in this division program id is the only mandatory one to write but you also write this author name write your name date written <coughs> so let's take it is december 12 2020 you can write it in any format then environment division i'm not using any files in this program we'll keep it pretty very short just to understand the inspect statement alone not other statements data division <coughs> under that we will use the working storage section under that i gonna define one variable let's say name with a picture class of x of 10 value of space and i need a variable for finding the length so string length with a picture class line of 0 to value 0 so i have taken two variables here one for the string and one for the length of that string then go to procedure division <coughs> under that main para then I'm gonna write a display statement to say that this program started now I need to get the input so accept ws name I'm gonna use one of the inspect statement inspect okay the variable name tallying is the keyword to tell 
where the length should be stored on what condition for characters before initial space now this is one syntax okay this is one of the way to find the string length it only works for one of the limited cases only that also i'll show you so i told the system that please calculate the length of the string all the characters which are before initial space what is this initial space why you have written like this is let's say in this input okay double arrows i'm just mentioning it as an input that i give anil <clears throat> since it is 10 bytes of memory allocation the later of my name for the four character value system will pad all the values with blank spaces what i telling the system is to calculate the length or characters which are before initial space so what what the space here it is there it will calculate all the characters before it so the expected for this answer is very simple it should be showing four if i pass any so i'm going to display it as well <coughs> display the bliss name length is okay double s string length finally stop me so i assume this is enough we will change the program okay this is just a dummy program but we'll come back to this program again so okay it's already there submitting my compile jcl taking time we got max is zero so there is no syntax mistakes of course it's a very small program it's to get a syntax error we may need to write good bigger programs there so i'm going to write run jcl for this particular program as well starting with the job name job i'm going to need only notify parameter step one execute program equal to the inspect one tell the system where is the load lady dsn equal to i will use a dot anil dot load this is equal to share sys print dd the sys out equal to star sys out dd sys out equal to star now like i've been keep on telling you need to practice jcl and cobalt together don't only copy paste the code always keep on typing them to get the custom of the coding methods and the syntax errors as well now after this particular jcl steps this program is expecting a string as input so i'll be giving that input end of jcl hi jcl so i got all the keywords highlighted so now let's run this jcl so as per my expectation it should take this anil as input and it should tell me that the length of the string is four characters so submit it system acknowledges my submission says that it is successful now let's go into spool and see now i'm gonna open another session another screen by using start command in my system m phi is the place where i can get to this pool st okay the last one as question mark sys out of my step one it says program started and anil length is 4 okay uh, we have a spell of mistake but okay length is 4 now this is works okay this particular program works only when you have a string of four uh, single word that means if i pass like this and submit job is successful stop the screen use question mark 
sys out. You see here, I have given Anil Kumar, but the length is still 4. Because as per our condition or as per our inspect syntax, we told the system to only check the length of the string which is before initial space. So if you have two words or more than two words, system will not calculate all, it only calculate the first word length only. So that's why the program what we have written is not actually correct. It looks correct, it ran correct, but it is not right. Okay. We did not get any syntax mistake, we did not get any logical mistakes, but our output is wrong. So what we need to do is we need to approach in a different way. For that, let's <clears throat> tell you the trick. Let me tell you the trick of finding the length of the string. So you don't need to calculate the characters. Okay, you should not calculate the characters. You should calculate the length of the spaces after your word because you may have one word, you may have two words in your string or three words also. What you have to do is you should not calculate the part of string. You should calculate the last space left over in the string space memory. Okay. Let's make take like 20 here. This name together will be 12 characters. Now what are the eight blank spaces are there? We should calculate this first. If you know this, then we know the length of the string. So for that, okay, <clears throat> how to do that? So display program started. I'll come back to that one. So for this, I need a new variable to count the space length. I need a space length, which could be nine of zero to value zero. So we need to count the length of spaces. For that, <coughs> input is same. Only the inspect statement, I will make a small change there. Inspect double s name, oh sorry, function reverse of double s name. So I'm gonna make my name or my input string completely reverse so the spaces will be in the friend the name of characters will be at the end telling what i'm counting here is the space length okay space length for leading space so now this particular variable contains number of spaces in the string leading in the sense okay if you don't know the leading leading in the sense front okay before now <clears throat> i just need to remove this from the length of the string second step is required compute the plus string length is equal to length of the plus name minus the space space length like this the earlier code you can just comment it we don't need to delete it okay so see here once again we want length of the string but we will not count the characters we'll count the extra spaces so to count the extra spaces what I did here is I just reverse the name. So all my spaces are in the friend and all my name has come to the end. Okay. Which means if it is my name like this, Anil Kumar with some blank spaces, system will reverse like this blank spaces, Rama K and NA like this. So what I'm now counting here is number of blank spaces that are leading in this string. So you will get only the length of the space, which is this minus the total length of the variable. Okay. This is not length of Anil Kumar. It's the length of the size of this variable, which in our case, it should be like this. Length of the string is 20 character length minus some number of spaces. Okay. If it is 10, 10 spaces. If it is eight, eight spaces. So whatever the space is there, it will be removed. 
and you will get the result like 10 is the string length okay let's try it in practical as well we'll execute it remove this example from here check anything where nothing to change f3 compiler submit max is 0 compilation is done run jcl so first we will check whether it is working for anil or not okay we should expect that the value should be 4 so i'm submitting here successful f9 question mark c soft so for anil it is still showing the length is 4 that is fine f9 now i'm going to word name or string submitting it here successful f9 next job question mark school sys out length is 10 now i'm giving p i'm giving another add-on character here submitting it for one more time question mark 12 characters this is including the space till here it was 10 11 and 12 so this is what my string length is now once again let me show you the program what we did here is a simple four line or three line syntax or two statements simple two statements whatever the string is there we're gonna reverse and count the number of spaces leading spaces then we are going to subtract the leading spaces from the length of the string variable. That will give the exact result what we are needing. Now this is one of the way. Okay. This is one of the way. <coughs> but this is not the only way. This is not the only way. <coughs> we can calculate the string length by using actor class as well. Actor class as well. That program i already have it in my system in our next video i'm gonna show you how to use that actor class to find the string length because in interview they may ask you to find the string length you may tell this answer but definitely they're gonna ask you if it is not inspect what is the other way you will try so you should have answer on the actor class as well because the interviewer is expecting that answer okay so for that particular reason, I'm going to show you one more program on actor class, how to define it, how to find the string length. For that, like I said, I'm going to take some time to make these videos. Once the video is ready, once it has been adjusted with some formats, I will upload it back to the YouTube channel. Okay. And Please do subscribe for the channel for more videos and if you need my contact it's in my description of my video or it will be in my website link which is also in the description so you can contact me for your requirements and we can plan the training as well so that's it uh, thanks for watching the video and see you in the next video